everybody, United Gaming here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing off the Nuketown map for Black Ops 3, so if you could go for over 30 likes on this video, that'd be greatly appreciated, as well as if you could leave a like down below letting me know what you think about the video, and if you want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos, and also, you never thought you'd hear my voice again, uh, yes, I am the real United, and, uh, it's just, uh, been a while since I've made a video, considering, uh, just school. That, that's the only reason why I haven't made any sort of video. Um, also, um, what's it called? My computer broke as well, and I'm having to use my sister's computer to upload right now, and I'm making this video on her computer as well. I'm just letting you guys know. So, yeah. Um, this map is really good, though. Just uh, getting into the map. This is a very good map. I just really like it. Uh, it's it looks just like the Black Ops 2 version, just everything a lot more updated, if you will. The mannequins look more like robots, if anything. Uh, I don't really know why they had to change the mannequins. I just prefer that the mannequins stay looking like people and less like mannequins. Uh, they just look like plastic robot looking things. I just really miss the mannequin thing that was going on. But, um,. Yeah, so I'm just looking at the detail in this. Also, letting you guys know it's the post commentary because the live commentary didn't work. I don't know if I said that earlier, but uh, yeah, I just really like this map. Um, the colors, I don't know what it is. Everything's just so vibrant in this map. And I mean, look at that, just the detail in this. Uh, you can't really jump on top of the truck, so uh, I think that would just be an unfair advantage either way if you weren't able to get on top. But, um,. Snipers. Snipers in this game don't really like them, but they're fun to use in a 1v1 or just a free-for-all match. I don't think there's any sort of a Easter egg um, for Nuketown like the one there was in Black Ops 2 where you just shoot all the heads off and then boom, some random thing comes off like on the little TV screen in the middle of the map. Also, uh, here's the uh, what would be the blue house in Black Ops 2. Let alone, it is an actual blue house already. Just, uh, uh, just giving you guys a mental image of where I actually would be if this were the Black Ops 2 version, um, or just any other version of this. But, um, right here, I don't know. I just really like the map, just showing off the detail of it. And there's not really much to do. I mean, considering I'm just alone in a free-for-all match, uh, just wanting to show off the detail of this map. Uh, but right here is the uh, cutscene that sort of ends off the whole Nuketown scenery. When you play on Nuketown, like, uh, whenever you play on Nuketown, you end off the match and then a nuke goes off in the background. For this one, I th it's like an EMP type of thing going off. Everything that's all pixelated just gets all destroyed. And, yeah, just showing that off right now. Um, that's probably what I'll end off the video with, just like showing you guys that. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and uh, comment down below letting me know what you think of the video, if you want to see more Black Ops uh, Black Ops 3, or if you just want to see more Destiny, or just both, or just really anything. Also, is GTA dead on my channel? Uh, if you guys want to see more GTA, just let me know. Also, if you want to see another Mickey Mouse trolling video on Black Ops 3, let me know in the comment section down below. And I might actually get to it. If you guys want to be in the video, leave a comment with your PSN. And let me uh, just let me know if you want to be in the video. Also, if you made it this far into the video, comment, uh, let's see, uh, Sexy Mannequin. Yeah, p put that down in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.